Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Sincere on Beats, and you are now tuned in to Real Talk. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, but I need you to do me a favor. Calm down and, and go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit musicdiarygroup.com to get some inspiration. All right? You think you can do that for me? If you can't do that for me, do that for yourself. Everyone needs inspiration every now and again. All right? So listen, we got my man Diddy again. We just got finished talking about Diddy. I mean, like, for real. Watch this last joint we just did on Diddy and the allegations that just came out with Little Rod. You got to go check that out, all right? But this one right here. I don't know if you guys remember, but in 1999, um, Puffy was in a nightclub in New York City. He was with the rapper Shine. I don't know if you guys remember him, but there was a shooting that had transpired in the club and Shine ended up going to jail, taking a rap for it, going to jail and um, getting deported back to his country. Well, the victim, one of the victims in that shooting... Um, actually made a statement the other day and she came out and told everything about what transpired. You want to know what she said? I'm going to play that. But first, before I play that, we got to get to Shine being in prison. Um, let's play that. Hold tight. As, As you, know, you know, from, from the, the media, media standpoint, standpoint, your trial was the Puffy trial. Do you feel that worked against you all, the fact that 99% of the focus was on him? Obviously, he was the uber star, and I was just up and coming. So, you know, yeah, it's going to be a show. But he used that to just, you know, just threw me off. Like, you know, it was, it was just terrible, man. To many, Jamal Shine Barrow is an answer to a trivia question as the man who once stood trial alongside Sean Puffy Combs. While all eyes were fixated on the hip-hop mogul, few paid much, if any, attention to the plight of his 22-year-old protege. Now, three years into Shine's decade-long sentence, for the first time ever, the imprisoned rapper speaks on camera about his co-defendant and the infamous trial that landed him here, behind bars. People probably have the impression that you're just consumed with the idea that, you know, justice wasn't served here and that somebody turned his back on you. It's not a matter of, you know, turning your back on me. Like, how do you call a witness to testify against your comrade? That witness Shine is referring to is Sharice Myers, a bouncer who was working inside Club New York when shots rang out that December night in 1999. In court, Myers claimed that she fell on top of Puffy during the shooting and said that he did not have a gun. But even as her testimony helped exonerate Puffy, it implicated Shine. Myers told jurors that it was Shine who first opened fire inside the club, letting off two shots toward the ceiling. Shine's lawyers conceded that their client fired his gun, but only in self-defense. Shine has maintained from the beginning that Myers' testimony, asserting that he was the first to open fire on that fateful night, is untrue. If I'm telling you that she's lying, and you saying, hey, you know, well, she helping me, but I'm facing 25 years, and you're looking at probation. Yeah. yeah, those are the things that you understand are unacceptable. You don't have to hold my hand. You don't have to do nothing, but don't, don't try to hurt me. What continues to haunt Shine to this day is that Myers wasn't called by the prosecution, but rather by his co-defendant's legal team. In his eyes, a move that doomed his own defense. This woman was the most damaging witness of any witness. She was worse than the prosecution's witness. Right. Which destroyed me because the prosecution is saying I'm this belligerent, reckless, you know, okay, corralled fella. Right. And then my co-defendant is saying the same thing? 
That was it. That was it. MTV News recently asked Sean Combs Man. to respond to Shine's allegations, and he emphatically refuted the rapper's interpretation of events. I did not force anybody or tell anybody to say anything that 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 would damage or hurt Shine's case. I just wouldn't do that. That that would not be my intent whatsoever. And you know that that's that's all I'm really going to say about the matter. Not to get into any negative back and forth, because y'all know me over the years on MTV News being involved in certain things. Right now, my life. Being involved in certain things. Y'all hear that? I don't know, man. I don't know, people. It's positive, and I'm, I'm going to keep it like that. Just as damning as Sharice Meyer's testimony, according to Shine, was the team of lawyers appointed to him by Sean Combs. Shine says Murray Richmond and others were at one time on the payroll of Combs' record label, Bad Boy. Because Puffy's defense implicated Shine in the shootings, Shine says having his own lawyers bankrolled by Bad Boy posed a conflict of interest. As I understand it anyway, um, the fact that your lawyers, as it turns out, originally were on Puff payroll, on the Bad Boy payroll, that's, that's part of this current effort to, to get the case retried, right? More or less, more or less. That looks crazy. Yeah. Can you talk a bit about that and, and, and when you learned that they were on the Bad Boy payroll? Well, it was always on the payroll, you dig, but that was at a point where I thought that was my comrade, so you know, mm, I ain't have it like sense. that. Yeah, right. I, you know, I was just, I was a fledgling artist, like, right. you know, I didn't, Shine album didn't come out yet, so I didn't really have it like that. But at the point where, you know, he called the witnesses, you know, to do me dirty, then you understand that, you know, well, man, if these guys is working for him, oh, because I went to the judge like three times complaining about inefficiency with my lawyers because they was just dumbing out. Like right. witness be on the stand, they would ask them two questions that didn't make sense and then sit down. It's obvious that they were selling me, you understand, in order mm -hmm. to appease him. You know. So I had to show that so you can get a little backstory because some people never even seen the interview with Shine while he was in prison, right? So I'm going to show now the the video of the victim who said Puffy pow pow me in my face. That's what she said. So this is what she said, and this is all alleged because Puffy didn't get convicted of this, but he did pay out some money according to what she said in this video. So now you're going to watch the video on what she said, all right? And they will come back. Then I got a special video for you at the end of this whole session, all right? So stay tuned. Hey, how you doing? So, hmm, here today about this latest lawsuit with the P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Puffy, Sean Puffy Combs, whatever you want to call them, lawsuit that has come out involving the producer Little Rod. So basically his last two lawsuits or last two major lawsuits, um, the one with Cassie, she made mention that Puffy made her carry his guns into nightclubs and wherever they went. And he threatened her to make her feel like she had to do so. And of while there were lots of things of importance, that stood out to me. And I'm going to tell you why. In this lawsuit with the producer Little Rod, they were both essayed by him and threatened and physically harmed. But in this lawsuit... He appears to be a very young producer to me, but he said something very specific. As a means of threatening him, Puffy said, that's why I shot up the club in New York back in 1999 and let Shine take the fall for it. Let me tell you why that's of utmost importance to me. Because I am the woman who he shot in the face in that 1999, December 27th, 1999, Club New York shooting. I have told everyone ad nauseum since then, even the surgeon who did the surgery to take the bullet, I got shot in my face with a nine millimeter, excuse me, nine millimeter hollow point bullet. 
called a cop killer. I literally have told everyone and never changed what I said. I watched him. I got pow powed in the face. I watched him fire the gun. I've said it all this time. Even the surgeon who did my surgery to take out part of the bullet fragments that was aspirating into my lungs and try to remove as many bullet fragments as possible testified in the criminal trial that while they were putting me under, I was screaming, Puffy, pew, pew, me in the face. He testified in the criminal trial. It is in the record. They all knew he did it. Everybody knew he did it. But he paid off the club bouncer named Sharice and all these other people and the club owners with their video to hide the video. That's his M.O. I told everybody that. This man almost took my life, has traumatized my life, has caused undue harm, irreparable damage to my life, lied his behind off. I've had all these youngins on the internet harassing me, swearing that I'm making it up that he did it. And look what he did to little Rod. He threatened him. Oh, you don't think I bust my gun? I shot up the club in Club New York and let Shine take the fall for it. I shot them people. Well, well, well. It only took 24, 24 whole years for it to come out. You see this tattoo? This commemorates me getting shot. It took 24 years for him to come out and say it. I've been saying it all along, but y'all pick and choose who y'all want to believe. Oh, baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. Not only did he pew, 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 pew me in the face, he also set off a course of harassment against me for the past 24 years. When I tell you the things I went through, there was a time in 2017 and 2018 where I got seven flats on my BMW, seven, the same tire, in a two-year span, seven on the same tire, and they were all new. Every time it happened, I had to get a new tire. I have the pictures to prove it. Harassing me. You want to know why? Because prior to Cassie, I was the only person to be victimized by him and then to successfully sue him and get paid. And he had to pay me out of his pocket. He has never gotten over that. Oh, baby. You see this Rico charge that's about to come? This conspiring and pew peering up the club and ruining or attempting to ruin my life? As God is my witness, I will not stop until you suffer every single iota of punishment until I have every second of recompense that you took for me. For every tear that I had to cry or my children had to cry, I am going to get a million back from you. I will not stop until you pay the price for what you did to my life. And for all you people out there on the internet and in cyberspace and in the far reaches of my life or the perimeters or wherever who always like, oh, she just saying that to get some hell. What you got to say now? What you got to say now? I had some youngins on the internet that ain't even old enough that weren't even alive when it happened, arguing me down, cussing me out, calling me everything but a child of God. Go check Instagram. It's there. Harassing my life harassing me. Oh, you lying. He ain't do that to you. You just want clout. You just chasing clout. What is that to chase clout about? How is that clout chase worthy? It doesn't even make sense. Well, I guess you, it would make sense in this new generation, but you better believe I will have my say. I will have my say. Hashtag having my say. Hashtag the dopest nerd ever. Hashtag ebb talks. Y'all ain't seen or heard nothing yet.
I've had my say. The best and the rest is yet to come. Yo, you see this? What do y'all think, man? Knowing what I just played for you, right? Hearing Shine saying what he said and hearing this victim statement, allegedly, y'all think Puff is guilty of all that? Y'all think he's capable of that? Oh, shoot. Camera, see, that's why I need a bet. Oh, man. Hold on, man. Technical difficulties over here. But we gonna keep rocking. We gonna keep rocking over here. We ain't stopping. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Listen, man. So, y'all think he's capable of that? Well, he may be. He may be. So, I'm right now, I'm gonna just go ahead and play this music video by KB The Messenger. Shout out to the Collective Music Group. Salute. So this is KB The Messenger with God Will. This is our first video on Real Talk that we doing, all right? There's going to be more to come. And stay tuned for KB's new single dropping on the 22nd called Changed. We're going to be posting more stuff about that the closer we get to... The release date, all right? So I'm going to holler at y'all later. I'm not going to come back in due to this technical difficulties. I ain't going to come back in. So I'm going to just move out with this video, all right? Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Here we go. KP, right? Ace Pride, right? God will, right? Troubles happening all over the world. I don't let it, let it get me down. I lift my head and look up to the sky. Cause I know he will, he'll make it all right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.